welcome to linux channel see what i got today is uh, usb 3.0 to gigabit uh, you know tp link uh, ethernet adapter so this one uh, the model is uh, uh, ue 300 and uh, inside the bracket uh, bracket they mentioned as un um, and uh, this is uh, version 3.0 so that's what it is uh, so what we do is today we uh, track its uh, or we find out its uh, controller uh, uh, chip number and then uh, uh, we go through its uh, drivers uh, uh, from the Linux kernel source and uh, we see what insights we can find and uh, this method uh, you can try on any uh, Ethernet adapter, any NIC card adapter, it can be even uh, uh, inbuilt motherboard Ethernet adapter or it can be even uh, PCI Ethernet adapter. So let's just quickly unpack. So this I got it for some uh, R&D. Uh, especially I need a standard uh, popular one available in the market so that I can uh, easily get the driver support especially for uh, the open WRT and stuff like that. So as you see here, this is what uh, I got it and uh, you can uh, unclip this. So it's a fairly compact one as you see here and again there are some specifications mentioned over here so you can see there hope you can see so let's me just quickly go through uh, what they have put they didn't mention any uh, no controller uh, uh, you know specifications and stuff uh, the controller chip specifications just uh, they mentioned as tp link model ue 300 that's all and uh, it's a USB 3.0 to gigabit Ethernet adapter and uh, that's it. Okay, and then serial number and other stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook a Ethernet uh, cable and I'm going to connect it to the system. And uh, before that, what you can try is uh, you can always do a uh, capture of uh, log messages. Okay, so you go here and you can do this tail minus F where log messages where log kernel messages so if you are using fedora or centos or something else maybe it's a different file uh, i remember long ago fedora used to have where log messages versus in ubuntu it is kernel log so let me zoom in uh, many viewers complain that they are unable to uh, properly see my you know <laughs> font in the screen uh, you know uh, in the terminal uh, share so let me just zoom in so that uh, you can see comfortably in the video capture okay so let me do this so this is where it stops uh, so here is my ethernet uh, cable uh, you can possibly see over here so this is my uh, you know cat6 uh, cable i'm going to plug this over here and uh, we connect it and then we capture what it shows okay So as soon as I plugged in, you can see it has uh, shown this uh, screen dumps, uh, which is captured in where log messages, kernel log messages, and you can see there uh, what is the device and what is the current uh, you know port name, and uh, we can open another terminal and we can do the zip config and you can see uh, this is showing currently as uh, you know uh, ENX 64AB something like that actually. So this is the you know currently plugged NIC card and this is what is you know existing one which is nothing but the motherboard ethernet uh, port. Uh, there is another one, uh, this one is in, uh, 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 this one is uh, TP-Link uh, PCI add-on card. Uh, this I use generally to do some uh, you know console access and stuff like that. Uh, onto my SD WAN uh, router uh, edge devices. Okay, so we ignore this, and this is the new device. And you can see there this uh, MAC address, whatever it is there, it is uh, added onto this ENX, you know, uh, prefix of that uh, Ethernet port name. So naturally, if you go through the net device uh, name, uh, this is the name, it is assigned, and you can even dump that. Uh, uh, you know output of the data structure in the kernel logs I mean kernel uh, debug okay so you can see there and we can go back here and we can see uh, the same uh, port name is captured here ENX uh, ENX uh, 60 something and we can get clues what is this controller is so the controller is R8152 
so that's the controller of this uh, uh, board and again it shows rt something like that so we see either of that should match and uh, i need to see that which one is the match for this uh, board okay so maybe this may be the case also because this looks like real tech uh, something like that 8153 or something so let's see which it matches okay so we open the kernel source and uh, we go to drivers uh, there is other way to do uh, you can also download the kernel source and uh, grep and uh, find it out let's see if we can search that um, string over here okay 8153 uh, 8153 and uh, as you see it is not found the, the other method as i said you can quickly do is uh, you can go to the kernel source and uh, i'm sorry you can go to the kernel and you can download the whole kernel source and you can grep as well so we can try this method uh, we get this tarball which is a mainline uh, uh, you know uh, uh, six uh, six dot o or else we can pick that uh, you know recent uh, 5.19.8 okay so we download this kernel source uh, let's just download somewhere yeah. so we extract it cd greener yeah it is downloaded so tar minus hdvf linux so this is generally the way i do i download the kernel source and i go through the folders i mean i traverse through the folders and find it out which it may fit and then i go back to this online uh, you know bootlin and i do a code walk okay this is much easier okay so cd linux we go to that uh, source code so it should be in drivers and it should be in uh, net obviously and here we need to see whether it comes under this uh, usb or uh, ethernet okay something like that so as you see here there is this usb and there is this ethernet so we are not sure which place it comes although it is a usb uh, ethernet adapter doesn't mean it should be inside the usb we need to see where it you know lies around so we do a grep and we search um, uh, yeah there's another method of course i forgot to tell i'm sorry you can also do a ls mod and uh, you can do a grab of that number okay so this one is uh, 8152 8152 so you can see there the loaded module is uh, you know usb net r8152 this is one thing it is getting shown and as well we can do a grab of this uh, spec as well okay 8153 so nothing like that shows up rtl8153 nothing like that 8153a uh, rt yeah so it doesn't match so which means it is uh, this chip 8152 and uh, you can also grab and find out its uh, data sheet and stuff okay so you can see there as soon as i enter it shows as a driver in the suggested uh, you know google search uh, and uh, we go to this images and we see and you can see there are many other brands uh, making their own versions of usb to ethernet adapter usb 3 to gigabit ethernet adapter stuff like that so uh, uh, i can't do tear down or something i'm seeing what is the chip it contains So we go back to the kernel source and we search uh, grep uh, 
8152 star minus r we recursively search and we can see you know there are lot of drivers here actually so you can see under that usb folder it is there not just uh, ethernet so looks like this is specifically meant for usb to ethernet adapters okay so that's what it is so usb r8152 uh, so we go back to the kernel servers and uh, we can see and we can do a code walk let me increase this font size as well so that you can see comfortably so this is what uh, if you are uh, beginning uh, to learn uh, you know drivers so this is again uh, i'm iterating this is always a misconception everybody asks uh, i want to become a driver uh, developer and uh, you know things like that but i'm very new to linux very new to kernel and stuff i always say that first you need to work on kernel space development Uh, then you can uh, aspire becoming a you know a driver developer okay it's not the other way around you can't be a driver developer without knowing what the kernel is and how to work in kernel space okay so it's just a, the whole drivers is just a small part of you know kernel uh, dev on drivers net uh, we go inside there and the usb and uh, this one is r8152 you can see there 8152 so this as so and so is the you know size of this file and uh, you click this so this is the whole source code of that uh, driver okay so quite obviously the driver uh, or this module it is getting loaded here when I, when you do this ls mod and the grep uh, 8152 you can see there the module is loaded and obviously the module is loaded from the kernel uh, uh, module ko file which is coming along with ubuntu install uh, you know kernel actually when you install the ubuntu it is installing all the kernel uh, modules as well as kernel headers and the kernel uh, vm linux as well okay so the vm linux gets stored in boot folder uh, config will be stored in boot folder and uh, the headers will be in some other place and the modules as well so you can see there uh, the current linux uh you know version which this is using is 5130-52 so this is the ubuntu kernel stock kernel uh, i'm not using any custom compiled kernel so we can go to this uh, lib uh, modules somewhere and you can see there uh, there are various uh, old kernel uh, you know folders are there so we go to this 52 hyphen generate and if you go there and if you go to this kernel cd drivers net you should able to find that ko file okay so you should able to find uh, that ko file you can see cd usb and you can see uh, 8152.ko so this is the ko file which is the kernel module which is loaded on demand as soon as you insert this hardware so one important thing is uh, these uh, general purpose uh, linux systems versus uh, if you consider a very hard core uh, embedded uh, board uh, excluding raspberry pi because raspberry pi is a semi general purpose uh, because you can insert any random <laughs> usb uh, adapters like this and it may most of the times get recognized okay so let's exclude raspberry pi otherwise if you consider any hard core uh, you know embedded board chances are that uh, kernel compile what you get is very limited and it may not contain all uh, drivers pre compiled if that is the case you may not have all these things pre compiled in this case since it is a general uh, purpose uh, desktop or server uh, install ubuntu you know desktop release this is what i am using is ubuntu desktop uh, you know which is actually zubuntu which is an xsce uh, you know pack, uh, window manager uh, you know packaged with ubuntu okay so in this case since it is meant for general use meant to install on any laptops any uh, pcs or any servers it can be also used as a server although it is not optimal like ubuntu server so there is nothing stopping it so when they prepare such a distribution they pre compile all these drivers and you know make it available but when you work on a very hard core embedded board then it may not be the case although you insert although it may have any usb 3 port chances are it may never be recognized and it may not work out of box okay so the reason is 
you know driver how it is compiled and packaged with the actual distribution in this case as you see it is packaged and the driver is available so it is get invoked and we can see when you do ls mod the driver is invoked of course you can do r mod and it will drop that you know driver uh, you know support okay so that's what it is and uh, what we do is uh, we can uh, go through the source code as you see here we can able to locate so this you should do similarly let it be any graphics card or anything else you are uh, you know investigating do this first once you are done with learning some basics of drivers and uh, done some you know basic uh, uh, driver programming with any virtual drivers and stuff or any you know serial uh, driver or stuff like that in uh, you know linux uh, uh, kernel programming again i am considering driver programming is just a part of kernel programming not the other way around okay so hence i am saying as a part of kernel programming as you do any uh, you know uh, work or study in uh, device driver development once you are done away with you know random examples you find in internet come with real ca use case real you know hardware and then done uh, do some uh, code work do some r and d and you have the source code in fact you can uh, you know edit the source code put any prints you want do any changes and then compile this code and then uh, try to you know insert the module or otherwise you can compile a custom kernel with this you know driver file edited i have done usually this intel drivers so little bit i have an idea like uh, 100 mbps uh, nicad what it is versus 1 gig uh, pcie express what it is and as well 40 gig uh, intel nicad little bit i have done code work on multiple occasions okay but not uh, any of these are you know real tech ones but nevertheless let's just go from bottom to top this is how you should start bottom most you can see there is this license information and little above you can see that they have you know done this uh, file operations like stuff and you can see there all these things they have registered as you go up uh, you will find this module init part and we can see that how they start the whole stuff okay so as you go up uh, you have this uh, once again i'm saying see i'm not uh, ever uh, done any you know code work of this real tech one so i'm not an expert but generally this uh, usb i mean generally this uh, drivers will have this uh, probe api which actually kick starts okay so uh, it is important to start knowing where is the probe is and uh, going through the code and other than that of course the module in it as well so let's see uh, where the module in it is registered firewall in it Yeah, module usb driver something like that and this is where it starts uh, table restart and uh, yeah this is for the disconnect and uh, when it comes to this uh, probe yeah i think this is where it kick starts and uh, you can see there it starts and somewhere it is registering this net device after it is you know somewhat like populated as you see your net device and it is doing all this stuff and version and uh, vendor mo uh, this thing and usb ethernet allow ethernet device and stuff like that and it is initializing this uh, net device data structure okay so there is another uh, data structure context as you see here uh, r8152 and it is this pointer tp and this is like a super data structure which is again holding all the context of this net device and stuff you can see there the net device is getting stored in this uh, you know other data structure so it is going to have the reference so this is again for beginners as you know you get any packets from this uh, nicad each of the packet the skb as it generates the data structure it's going to you know point this pointer of that net device so it is quite easy whenever you take any random skb uh, from any of this ethernet ports i mean any of this network ports if you do if you come to any of this network ports the skbs uh skb of data uh, skb arrow data i'm saying <laughs> the data structure will have that pointer linked to this you know net device uh, data structure pointer so this way you know that who is the you know uh, source of this uh, packet is getting generated in the rx flow in the tx flow always it will be the you know um, uh, destination or destined physical port which is set so you will know that by capturing a random skb you will know that which interface it is going to go out 
uh, once it leaves that you know system so this happens in the tx path in the rx path you will find what is the origin port of that packet is so that's what it is so hence you can see this context they are using let's see what this uh, data structure is r8152 struct okay so let's see where it is defined uh, it's only showing this references uh, 8152c so this is the data structure you can see there it has all this uh, definition and uh, net api and uh, these are various fops in it is there enable disable up down and stuff like that so this is where if you want uh, your custom uh, see rtl ops we we investigate this data structure as it gets populated okay so click this and uh, you know investigate where it is getting populated so rtl ops so let's just do a regular search and go down where it is actually getting populated okay so yes yeah rtl ops in it in this ops in it uh, they are doing this uh, let's let's just uh, further continue see yeah as you see here this is the table uh, i mean this is the callback it is registered so whenever it is init it is this whenever enable it is this for that version okay version 7 you see various uh, variants are there rtl version 7 if it is 1 2 and 7 